Now it's time to start using Python to read CSV files. Here, I've got a simple CSV file that contains some employee data for two employees and has their name, department, and birthday month. Open up a new Python script and import CSV. The first thing you need to do is actually open the CSV file. Go ahead and call this CSV file. Next, create a CSV reader, which will just be csv.reader, pass in the CSV file, and also a delimiter, which in this case is just a simple comma. Now you can create a line counter, which we'll just set equal to zero. And since the CSV reader generates a list of the different rows, you can go ahead and loop through for row in CSV reader. Now the first row contains all that header information. So when line count equals zero, you can print column names are, and since that's also a list of each item, just go ahead and join that row together. Increase the line count and handle everything else. So print and start with a tab here. And you can go ahead and just index off of that row. So the name will be the first item. The department will be the second. And the third item is the birthday month. Cool. Like before, increase the line count. And go ahead and print a summary, which will just be something like processed line count lines. And that's it. Save this, open up the terminal, and see what we get. All right, column names are name, department, and birthday month, and both employees' information prints out here. And actually, <laughs> looks like I printed the name twice. This should be a one so that we access the second indexed item in there. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we can see their department. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can open CSV files and parse them using Python. Now if your CSV files start getting larger, or if you have columns that you need to add or remove, uh, the indexing can get very difficult. And as you can see, I made a typo here and printed the wrong thing. Fortunately, CSV has a different type of reader that allows you to use the header names. So go up here to the CSV reader, and you're going to replace this with a dict reader for a dictionary. Everything else will be the same. Uh, go ahead and get rid of this else statement here and remove the indents on your every other row. And now, instead of picking apart the rows by their index, you can actually pass in the header name. So what's going on here is the dictionary reader looks at the first row and assumes that that's the name of the row. So you can then refer to it by that name. So if I go ahead, save this, we should be able to run it and get the same result. Yeah. So if you have that first row that contains the header information, you can use a different reader. And this is a little friendlier to use because you can actually see what you're uh, referring to. All right, so now you can read standard CSV files. In the next video, we're going to talk about changing some of the reader parameters to deal with those non-standard cases. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.